Hi guys, it's Jamie Green, and today I am here to give you an update on my Amazon FBA journey. But before I start that, I just wanted to tell you what I've been up to for the last couple weeks, since it's been a couple weeks since I made my last video. I have been to Waco, Texas, and I went and saw all things Magnolia, all things Chip and Joanne Games, ate at the Magnolia table, stayed in one of their houses that they remodeled from season one, did did everything magnolia and if you haven't done it before you should and if you're a fan of their show you should definitely do it and their um joanna and chip Gaines's um story about entrepreneurship is quite amazing so i was really really inspired i came home it was just me and two girlfriends that went it was supposed to be another one but one of them hurt got hurt the day before we were supposed to fly out it's quite the bummer but we still went and it was fine, um, but it was my first time away from the kids and everyone survived and I have to thank my husband for that because he, um, you know, three kids, one weekend, I was literally gone for 48 hours, maybe a little bit more than that, but it was a great, 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 great trip and I'm very grateful for that. And so what I'm doing now without my kids, I'm actually going to hear uh, my friend Melanie Kluger go and speak about her book, The Confident Closet which you can find on Amazon.com. Um, she is going to be speaking and sharing at the local J. Crew store here. And I just actually parked and I wanted to make a video before it got too dark because the sun's starting to go down. Um, so I'm really excited. She's a fellow entrepreneur, author, and online course creator. She, she has a course that she's actually revamping right now called The Confident Closet. It's online. You can go and check out her website too, theconfidentcloset.com. And I'm just really excited because she's truly like maybe one of the only other entrepreneur friends that I know um, in my area that is like a fellow mom and actually goes, we go to the same health club and that's how we met. Um, we have a lot of mutual friends in our, in our city that we live in, um, but we just, yeah, we just kind of got to know each other and we're getting to know each other more. So I'm really excited to support her. So if you want to learn how to build um, a confident closet, which means your clothing and style and everything, you should check out her book. Um, yeah, so anyways, so that's what I've, I, am, I have been up to. And the other thing I'm going to tell you right now because I just, I, I want to and I, I can because it's my channel and my, my, my little video I'm making for you guys is I have also binge watched The Last Kingdom on Netflix. And if you like shows like, um, what's that big HBO show? Um, the Game of Thrones. If you like that kind of show, this one is, I feel like it's almost better because it doesn't have all that weird family dynamics that, um, the Game of Thrones has. But The Last Kingdom is about Uhtred of Bebenberg and he's a Saxon slash Dane warrior. And it's about, um, the Saxons versus the Danes before England was ever formed. It's, there are three seasons and it's binge worthy. It's so good. The writing, everything, it's just such a great show. So if you're looking for something to walk, watch over the holidays and you just need a break from all your Amazon FBA stuff, that's what I did over Thanksgiving. I took a break and I did that and um, I'm so glad I did. But so let me give you guys an update. Um, November turned out to be a really great month for me. It, um, I had in my sales by 150% from the month previous, which says a lot. Um, <clears throat> it's been selling. I still have like 270 pro units left to sell. I don't know that I'll hit that for this month, but maybe. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. We'll just wait and see. And I'm going to give it until the end of January before I just bring everything back. And I think what I would do with my product is just probably donate it. Um, or sell it in some little private consignment shops or private little stores. Who knows? But I'm going to give it two more months, um, December and January, to um, sell the rest of it out. And hopefully it'll sell out by then. That's the, My fingers are crossed. <clears throat> so um, th that's all that I have to say about my current product. The, uh, the product that we're working on, which is a game my son and I came up with, um, during the, the big fires up north, um, we were smoked in. We like literally had to leave town. We left and actually went to Monterey for five days and stayed in a hotel to escape the smoke. 
but while we were still in our town, we, um, we what we, we created a game. So we we're working on finding an artist to do, to do our graphics and do our um, logos and packaging and all that good stuff. And then my son and I are going to sit down. We're going to work on finding suppliers to source all the products that are the little pieces that we need for the game. And I've been throwing the idea around to friends and family. And so far, everyone sounds like, sounds like fun. Sounds like a great game. And with all the Christmas shopping that I've been doing, I've been checking out all the games that are on the market. And there's nothing like it on the market. And like one of the things I was paying attention to was like the duration. How long does it take to play the game? So I was like, oh, perfect. It's right in the same like time length that it would take for other people to play other games. So it's not like a too short of game or it's not too long of a game. So it's really exciting. So I'm really excited to help teach my son, my six-year-old son, Kian, how to do this. And we're going to learn it together. And we're going to do a Kickstarter. And we're going to learn all of that. And we're really, really excited about that. So my hope is that it's on Kickstarter um, by February, March, April at the latest. Since we're in the holidays and we've got a lot of things that are going on between now and, um, and then. So... That is what I'm up to. Oh, and the other thing is, um, tomorrow morning, I'm meeting with a, a guy. I think his name is Ahmed. I'm meeting up with him. He's been staying in the Bay Area. He's actually touring with Cirque du Soleil. And he is a part of Samir Brax's Facebook group. And he, Ahmed asked if anybody is in the Bay Area. And Samir tagged me in it. And so he reached out to me on Facebook. And we're going to meet up tomorrow to talk about Amazon FBA and if it's the right thing for him to do. So I'm going to, I'm excited to meet with him and share with him my experience, but then also be able to share, um, you know, people that I know that are selling on Amazon that are doing really, really well. Either doing really well or on their way to doing well. Um, and just also let them know that there are people that don't do so well on Amazon for whatever reason, like the wrong product that they picked. So, um... So I'm really excited to meet him tomorrow. We're just going to meet in the morning at a Starbucks. Um, not too far from where I'm at right now, actually. And um, talk to him. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to help him just figure out if this is what he wants to do. Because I think Amazon is still a great thing. still a great opportunity for so many people. Um, <clears throat> for me right now, my life personally, it's just too much. I feel like I spent so much time doing product research, and I know I've talked to you guys about this on my channel before, but um, a lot of time doing research, getting samples, and when it really came down to it, I um, wasn't confident in the products that I was selecting or things that were out there, just either from the suppliers wanting to scam me because of the Trump trade wars that are now over, um, temporarily, <laughs> or... Um, you know, the capital that it takes to buy all the product and then hope and wish it goes well and takes off if you're differentiated enough. Um, but for me, I just decided that I need to take a little break from sourcing private label stuff and I'm just creating our own product and kickstarting it and then launching it on Amazon as well. So um, we're doing a Kickstarter so I can do mass production and, you know, launch it onto Amazon. So that's another way to think about a way to fund your private label stuff. Just a you know little thing, side note to think about. Um, so yeah. So anyways, that's kind of where I'm at with everything. I'm so grateful for all everything I've learned because I've learned so much and it's such a. It really is. It's a simple process, but it's a lot of work. And so if you're up for it, I say go for it and make sure. Just make sure you've done thorough research on the product. So, okay, so I'm going to end the video now. I hope you guys are having a great week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So make sure, oh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to watch us figure out this whole um, creating a game, launching it with Kickstarter, and, and then bringing it to Amazon. Um, it'll be an interesting journey. Uh, hit the thumbs up if you like this um, video, and leave a comment or question below. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!